Well, okay. We're down here for the Wildwood by the Sea Film Festival. This is a good thing because coincidentally Wildwood, New Jersey does happen to be next to the sea, so worked out rather well on that account. Anyway, we come down here because Euripides here had something entered in there from his production company, 81st Street Productions. Ironicality, check it out. It's on the YouTube somewhere in the dot com box. And I wanted to just uh, make a mention of some of the movies that come down. Hey, how's it going? Hey, you see, there's a C that backs up my claim earlier Wildwood being by it and them having a festival to celebrate that fact. And anyway, We've seen a lot of fun movies today. Um, I actually wrote down them all, so I wasn't going to get them any of them wrong. Um, earlier we saw uh, Church of the Good Thief. That was a, a documentary of sorts. It was pretty good. I, it was about one of Jesus Christ's buddies. Uh, uh, I didn't know about this guy, but he was canonized by Christ. Uh, on the cross. A little bit of a good luck, bad luck situation for him, but I guess it worked out well in the end. Uh, next one we watched was Champagne. That was a pretty good one. And see, I circled them all. Um, Champagne was good. That was about a restaurant, and they lost. Well, I don't want to give away the ending, but they had a they had a horrible situation they had to deal with. One of their own was uh, taken from them too early, and then they had to deal with it. Then Kabuku Rides, I like that because it was told as a bit of a narrative through the eyes of the child involved, or who was affected directly by the situation. That was rather good. Uh, Cube Zombies, we only watched, honestly we only watched like five minutes of this because we had to hurry up and get to the other, uh, another, uh, one of the rooms where there's another movie showing that we wanted to see. I would really like to see the end of the Cube Zombies movie because any any movie with where the dead come back to life and fight the living. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by the tram car. <laughs> hey, watch watch the tram car. There you go. That thing would have mangled me for sure. <laughs> What's that? Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, we want to see the end of Cube Zombies. So I'm going to have to go home and take a look on the Intertron there and see if we can find it, maybe, I don't know. It started out pretty good, I thought. Then we went over to see New Jersey the movie. Uh, we figured since we was in New Jersey, a good way to celebrate that fact is go see a movie all about it. And it was really pretty well done. It was put together nice. Had a lot of laughs. Uh, I would like to see the longer version. It mentioned at the beginning these two versions. They showed the shorter one, and I'd like to see the longer one, too. Because they didn't mention the, Jer the Jersey Devil at all. And I, you know, I heard about him around campfire when I was growing up. And just felt it was odd they left that out. Uh, let's see, then we went on to another group of films. We went to see Suspended Animation. We actually only caught the last five minutes of that. It seemed okay. Um, it was only five minutes. It, it seemed like five. I'm sorry. Well, I guess it was the last minute or two. I don't know. I'd like to see the whole thing of that later. No bikini. That was rather good. I like that. It was an interesting take on a situation that I guess some children face as they's growing up when they's young. Um, I thought that was really, it was cute. It was well done. And uh, then we saw the confession. Hard-hitting drama in a church setting. I like that. Roller Derby is coming to the and then uh, they showed... Now these group of guys, they showed a couple different things because they've got some stuff in the works. Uh, Sunday dinner was what it was listed as. I, that, that seemed pretty good, but the, the part that they showed, uh, they showed some scenes from an upcoming movie they got coming up with a group of these guys, these fellas sitting around eating dinner with a priest. And, and, and the interaction between the characters was such that I could just, I was enthralled. I could sit and watch that for, you know, hours. And I and we've actually got a, a chance to, to mention that to the filmmakers, and they said, in, in a sense, that's pretty much what the movie's going to be about. So when that's finally done, I'm going to be looking forward to seeing that. And then the final movie we saw was uh, Last Skate for Couples. It was a bit of a tearjerker. Um, I liked it because skating was involved, and... Um, 
more information. Visit and it was, you know, young love and such. And well, I don't want to give away any of the ending of that, but I did. I think that was well done. The, the film, the filmography work on it was pretty good and such. Now he's going in here at 4:30. We're going to see three other movies. Is it three? What, is it Chemistry and Stained and Frost Nixon? Frost Nixon is a trailer That's a for tra Ron Howard's new movie. Ron Howard lives in a trailer? No. He's a rich fella. I think he could afford to live a little bit better. I, no. I mean, I, I, I can't afford a trailer. No, 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 Jimmy. It's a movie trailer for an upcoming movie. Oh, movie trailer. Oh, is that where he keeps all his movie films? He puts them in a trailer. No, he has made Jimmy. a lot of them, so I guess he needs to tote them around. You know, got a lot of movies. Now, 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 Jimmy, we aren't talking about Ryan Howard, the place for the Philadelphia Phillies. Oh, that cheesesteak fella? Yeah. Yeah, I see him on the TV with the whatever that is. Didn't you see him down at Pat's once there, Jimmy? Yeah, that's why I think he's funny. <laughs> he's just talking about, I don't know, he's talking about eating Subway uh, cheesesteaks with Jared, and I know darn well. He, he likes the Pat's best. But that's neither here nor there. I thought, I thought Ryan... I thought Ron Howard was bald and made films, but apparently he plays for the Phillies. No, 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 no. Two different people. Ron Howard and Ryan Howard are two different people there, Jimmy. They related? No. The second annual Wildwoods by the Sea. Brothers from Mother other mothers? Oh, well, that guy's what the kids call these days. Anyway, um, he's going to go back inside. Well, what about Euripides' movie, Ironicality? How'd you like that? Well, honestly, I have seen it already. I didn't get to see it here because I couldn't get up here in time. But um, it was it was good as well. We're seeing it. Actually, we was talking about this earlier. I thought it would be a good idea if we start our own film festival back up home. What you think? Uh, Jimmy, I think that's already in the works. Oh, it is now? Yeah. Remember, you're, you're, you're head of uh, project development. Is that what she's talking about? Yeah. The Lancaster County Film Festival, May 2nd, 2009. You know, in the big field I showed you the pictures of? Yeah, well, and, I thought and, she was just showing me where you was ready to plant. Yeah, the next uh, crop. Uh, right? And the, uh, you the, know, the government subsidies for corn's going way up. You got a good shot. They're going to be making gas. Well, what did you think the submission form was that I showed you? I don't know. You show me lots of forms. I don't know what any of them mean. They all got look, lots of words on them and such. So we're going to have our own film festival. Yes, and you're going to do a commercial. Can we have clowns? We will have clowns. See, a good festival's got to have clowns and, um, Ooh, monster trucks, we can have that. That'd be a good festival. Monster trucks might be pushing a little bit, Jimmy. They but we them. will have movies. But they got, I see one right up there. They got one. Yeah, but it's loud. It might tear up the dirt. They might not like it so much. But it will have movies. Maybe we'll get lucky. Well, why don't you do a documentary on monster trucks and submit it to the film festival, Jimmy? Tear up the dirt. The dirt grows back. <laughs> Well, anyway, we just, okay, well, we just corn rippities, you look for us, and uh, what's, we have like one of them web page book things on the internet, web Okay, well, anyway, oh, we're right across the street from the Italian festival. I guess we're going to go over there and get some spaghetti meatballs later on, maybe meatball parmesan. I always been meaning to try that out. That sounds good. You always like the meatballs, don't you, Jimmy? No. No, well, yeah, the kind you eat, damn it. I don't know. Get some provolone cheese or something. Sounds good. Maybe I'll get some... Oh. We'll go over there later on and get some pizza. Anyway, it's about quarter after the four o'clock. We got 15 minutes to get on back in here and find good seats, and we gotta hurry if we're gonna do that. Cause yeah, we don't want to be having a fight over no good seats. I'm running out of stuff to say. I well, just say goodbye from the Wildwood Film Festival, Jimmy. All right, Dan. Goodbye from the Wildwood Film Festival, Jimmy.